Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne Ultra. We're jumping in again this time as good old YV, which you'll see I have a new thumbnail for. That's because my old thumbnail kind of looks more like Young Cuz, so we can actually play Young Cuz now. But anyways, we're going to be playing as YV and just trying to unlock our second golden weapon and all that. I'm going to be going no crown for now. Um, we're starting out with the golden jaw splitter. Not a bad one, actually, especially if we can get an early bolt marrow. That would be rather spicy. But yeah, uh, going to be trying to unlock our second golden weapon as this guy, as well as just see what else we can get up to. There's plenty of things to see and find for us, so I will give it a go. I'm going to open this up. Why not? Try and get a guaranteed flare mutation where we can just pick our own. I really like that ability, so if I can make that work, I will. But yeah, Plutonium Hunger right off the bat here is uh, is pretty nice. It saves us a lot of uh, potential troubles with missing rads and ammo as well. So very, very nice to start off. But yeah, thank you to the developer of Ultramod for actually making me a, um, a Turtle Melon thumbnail for YV. So that I can play Yunkers a little bit more. Because I haven't played Yunkers on YouTube in quite some time. I'll take that as well, thank you. And we'll... Open this up so we can go this way. You, you, you're always a bit of a pain, you are. Especially because of that. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's fine, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, I find that boss to be one of the most difficult. Because it's the earliest point, apart from inverted areas, in which you're going to see explosive bullets. And explosive bullets slap me every time. Every single time. We'll go through here again, though. With an explosive weapon, I might have a bit of a better chance. We'll go with Eagle Eyes, because Eagle Eyes do be good. Especially with a weapon like this, where having that little bit of aim assist actually will make a pretty huge difference. But I am missing Plutonium Hunger already. I know I only just lost it, but still, I'm missing it. We did get an inverted area here. I'm still going to go for this, though. I think with this weapon, I should have a much easier time of killing this guy. As long as I can... Keep my distance when he fires his explosive shots and... Did you just see that? I actually can't believe that. So, if you didn't catch what happened there, I actually hit him with an explosion and it, like, course-corrected him into me. He wasn't gonna hit me, but it course-corrected him into me because I hit him with an explosion. I didn't even know that could happen. That's... Truly frustrating. We've got the inversion magnet here. Um, I'm going to go with the eagle eyes yet again, of course. I think it's very, very good. Another inversion magnet. I wonder if holding two inversion magnets has much of an effect. No, 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 no. I'd rather go to the inverted area when it's plausible. Just remember that this big bandit has some, uh, has some problems. Didn't mean to do that there. I meant to pick up the other weapon. Oops. Okay, big inverted bandits in. I don't know exactly where there is. Oh, the mini rockets, man. Look at look how long the mini rockets last for. We'll uh, go with that. Bit of cracking on this bad boy. Can't hurt. I like it. Boom. I had you pop as well on, on occasion. Ow. We do have eagle eyes. So we've got that little bit of aim assist. Quite like that. Okay. We're doing well. We're doing well. Um, Throne Book could be fun, but I think I'm going to go for Extra Feet right now. I think that's a, a pretty good choice. And we'll take Bloodlust as well. as a little bit of a way of getting a bit more HP back on occasion. I don't take Bloodlust very often, to be honest. And I think it's, it's pretty goddamn good. A way of getting health without needing to health to drop is, is pretty incredible. Especially like if you've got like Ecstatic Fists or something as a way to keep you on uh, higher HP for longer. I think it makes a lot of sense to try and use it for something like that. Mini Plasma Gun. I'm pretty happy with what i got going on right now. Let's hope we can just make it far this time and not have uh, such a hard time. Ooh, thank God I can destroy that. I love having explosive weapons for that as well. Ooh, we got a policeman there that I didn't see. Okay, quickly grab this. I see you, little Mimic. I see you. And we got ourselves a Blood Bullet Shotgun. I'll take the Blood Bullet Shotgun here. I think the Blood Weapons obviously help us out a ton. Potentially. Not always, but potentially help us out a ton. Quite like it. Uh, I don't think I have anything to do here, do I? I think I'm just good to go. 
The Blood Bullet Shotgun might actually be really good with Pop Pop, to be honest. It's quite slow firing, mind you, but... Yeah, I like it. it. Seems to work really well. And then with this guy, I can just pop pop him with the rockets. Really, that missed? Okay. Got there in the end. Wrong direction actually is better when you have um, the accuracy increase. Ooh, nah, I'm taking the flame shotgun though. Flame shotgun speaks to me as well. There you go. Having Kraken on this just extends the range a little bit when we miss like that. It's quite nice. Um, this is difficult because Shotgun Shoulders would actually be kind of fun right now. I think I'm going to go for that. I really like Shotgun Shoulders. I think it's one that I don't get to use that often, but I really like. And with some of the late game shotguns, some of the higher ranked shotguns, it can be pretty goddamn incredible. Even just now, it's, it's doing a good job, isn't it? Especially when we've got the accuracy increase as well. The accuracy up plus shotgun shoulders is a pretty good combo. Okay, we're good. Yeah, managed to blast through that stage. Okay, I mean, boiling veins would not be a bad shout right now either. Uh, but I'm going to go with hypersomnia. You know how much I like hypersomnia. Good old big machine, got a snake gun there. We do have a frost shotgun here, which is better than the fire one, so I'll take it. If we can get mood swing alongside it, I would not mind. I think mood swing plus this would be uh, a pretty darn good combo. But yeah, freezing, really, really good. Freezing plus mood swing is where it's at, though. But yeah, hypersomnia, as I've said previously, it just means you can clear out a good half a stage before really having to worry. And the fact that, like, enemies that have on-death effects no longer trigger them is uh, super vital to that actually being useful. Shotgun rifle, potentially good. Yeah. Not it. We got a uh, regular bazooka here. I've got a golden bazooka, I think you'll find. Oop, accidentally tapped out of the game there. I always do that. I click on my second monitor sometimes by accident. Right. We're, we're, we're gold and we're doing well. We're doing well. So it's actually probably better to use this uh, rocket launcher while everything's sleeping. Just because of the AoE. Mini flame cannon. Certainly an interesting one. Electro gun. I've never found the electro gun to be really my style. I think electric can be good, but the electro gun specifically, the one that fires the little balls, I always found it a bit underwhelming. Alright, let's let's get this guy through the wall. Yeah, before he lobs that car at me, thank you. Okay. Back through to the throne vault. And probably put something on our frost shotgun here, right? Um, okay, what do we want to go for now? Flexible elbows has been pretty good for us in the past, I'll take that. And I'm going to take extra herming on this. See how that goes. The yeah, extra herming could pay out. But yeah, we're nearing nearing the point where we can attempt to get our second weapon here. Uh, sorry, not our second weapon. Our regal vision. And I haven't seen regal vision for YV yet, so that'd be interesting. See, so he, he, he spawned asleep there, and I managed to kill him before he did anything. That was awesome. Ooh! Frozen pop gun though, because that is still shells, so it would still benefit from shotgun shoulders. That's that's plausible that I might want that. And I don't know though, I've just, I've just put herming on this. I'm a little more inclined to keep the shotgun I have. I saw you about to throw that, my boy. I saw you try. Also, grenade something or other. Probably pretty good, but I'm actually. Do you know what? I might take the auto grenade thing instead of my uh, my thingy here. Auto grenade launcher. Yeah, let's go for that instead. Ooh, that is... That could be very, very strong. We're pretty low on um, shotgun ammo here, so I'm a little worried about that. But yeah, we can actually attempt our regal vision now. Oh god, I just hurt myself with a grenade. I don't actually know how that grenade hit me, but I'm not gonna contest it. I'm, I'm not... Honestly, I'm not the most thrilled about my weapons at the moment. I don't think I've got the best stuff here. But it's not awful. 
Yeah, that's one of the reasons I'm not the best. Oh, we got a disc eraser. Oh, that sounds truly evil. Yeah, my ammo situation has just not been good, really. He's struggling every floor for ammo. I thought my flexible elbows would help out with that, but apparently not so much. There's Mood Swing. Uh, probably want to grab Mood Swing, to be honest. Back Muscle was a close second there, though. Because Back Muscle uh, giving us more ammo drops. Hyper Assault Slugger. Oh, man. I could take Double Shotgun here, which is a little risky for ammo. But it does mean we'll get the, the, the right ammo more often. So I'm going to go for it for now and, and see how it goes. Okay, let's go try this out. There you go. I don't know why it flashes on and off. It's weird. Shotgun shoulders, well, we just lost that, so I'm going to wear... Hypersomnia, Epic Free. Ugh, that's a bit shit. <laughs> I'll be honest, that's a bit shit. You probably want to use the Frost Shotgun here just for the... Uh, the pretty large AoE effects this thing has. Well, this is insane. I want this ammo, but I can't goddamn get to any of it. Okay, that wasn't too bad, actually. Felt like it was going worse than it actually did. Okay. Oh, I got poisoned. Does the poison just guaranteed take you down to one HP? Is that how that works? I just not realized that yet. I, I, didn't, I didn't know if it was like a specific time period you took damage for, or if it just always took you down to one HP. Ow, I thought I could sneak past that. Apparently, I couldn't. Auto flare gun. Um, yes, please. As much as the frost shotgun was doing as well, auto flare gun seems like a very, very good choice here. Um, second stomach. Boiling veins. Is this tricky? This is tricky. I could go with Nevs of Steel, I guess. Nevs of Steel is pretty darn good. Yeah, let's go with Nevs of Steel here. It does give me some ammo right off the bat to work with as well. Good thing about this flare gun is I can do some stuff from a, from a distance with it. Ooh, blood launcher shotgun. Yep, yeah, please. As we've said earlier, before in this area, anything blood is going to be amazing. Oh my lord. Chill out, game. There's so much going on right now. It's these triangle shots that they're evil. Look, they're a great design. They're so goddamn tricky. Really, you're trapped me in a little bubble. Get out of here. Right, how are we doing? Are we, are we cleared out this area pretty much? I feel like we're, we're nearly there. No, we cleared it out. Okay, cool. Right, we should have a reasonably okay time taking this guy out. Probably going to go with my blood weapon to start with here. There you are. I still don't really remember this guy's attack patterns, so forgive me if I die to him very, very swiftly. Okay, he's very dead. And then it's me v me. Wow. We have a good setup for this. Regal Visions, here we are. Uh, press F while reloading to instantly reload your primary weapon and shift reload... Um, Shift reload time to your secondary weapon. Can only be done when secondary is reloaded. Requires you to hold a secondary. Kind of interesting. And we've got a lot to go with here. I just want to make blasphemy work. Um, it's really, this is, it's, it's tricky. Oh, ooh. 60% shotgun reload, use shotgun, uh, use, but used bullet ammo converts to shotgun ammo. 
I've never tried this before, but I'm, I'm, I'm willing to give it a go. Let's get some good shotguns here, shall we? Let's first of all just hover over everything and get all the gold weapons that we can. Right, okay. Shotguns. I wanteth another shotgun. Assault Flugger. What, what, what rank is this? Hyper Assault Slugger. What's the Assault Flugger? Seems pretty good. Double Frost Shotgun. Seems goddamn good. Heavy Pop Rifle. There's some damn good stuff here. I think I've got what I need though out of this. So how does this work? Bullet crash now is used to shotgun ammo, right? That's awesome. <laughs> That's really cool. Um, double frost shotgun, though, I think we're going to go with... I think we're happy. I think we're happy. Although there's a quadruple flame shotgun, which speaks to me in a certain way. I think I'm going to go with these two. I think I'm going to go with these two. Let's get out of here. Wow, we are burning through ammo pretty quick. That shotgun reload speed is, is pretty pretty speedy. Didn't mean to go through them, it's because the inverted area, but we're here now. Frost, good, good. Okay, ammo's not too bad right now. Blood glove? Ooh. I didn't realize we were at the throne already. Hello, throne. It is time. Right. Get ready to destroy these bad boys. My god, I'm out of ammo already. Okay, well, this is very, very bad. I'm probably screwed here, to be honest. I ran out of ammo so goddamn fast. Oh, well, okay. No, I killed him pretty quick there. That was sketchy, but we got there in the end. My goodness. This is going to be bad. <laughs> I mean, he's going to die quick, mind you, but... Can this guy die faster, please? Having a hard time here. There you go. Thank you. Right, we got our shop this time. We got our shop. So, obviously, first things first is... Uh, wait a minute. What? Okay, there you go. Kill on sight. Whoa. What? I am confused. What was that about? What's going on here? Why is this not the same as last time? Okay, it's just got, like, there's just like an animation to it now, I see. So where, where's the other dude gone? Oh, there we go. And does the eye appear? Right, so we definitely want to take unlock secondary starting weapon. Yes, obviously. Um, and then we want to talk to this guy. And we've got these challenges that we still haven't done. 25% lower reload uh, doubles your portal essence upon return. Um... Take one extra damage um, from everything. Gain one life upon return. I guess we'll take this. I, I, I can take all of them at once, which is kind of crazy. Um, I'm sure go for the the old extra golden unlocks, please. Thank you. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle, skedoodle. Okay, who knows if we're going to survive long enough to get back there. We'll see, I guess. We will see, I guess. I think the setup we've got going on right now is is pretty pretty good for looping. <laughs> this flugger is uh very good. Flugger somewhere else. Having, having it with shotgun shoulders and this extra crazy reload speed and stuff is just 
very nice. Cursed grave fish. I'm still a little confused about why it's a fish down here and not anything else, but let's not look too deep into it. Kraken cannon. I'll take a Kraken cannon. Why not? Is that it? We good to go? Well, I'm, I don't know how that exactly works considering we don't level up here, but I guess I could take an arrow future, right? And that would level us up. And then I can choose what I want. Probably a good idea to do what I just did there and leave that until later, to be honest. Leave that until a loop. Big assassin, I hear you somewhere. Hey, we got some armor from him as well, finally. It's nice to see. Why you gotta make your way back all the way up, up here? Pretty happy with this run so far. Things are going my way. Got an inverted area here. Ooh, 70% red stain. I still haven't, like, really gone through here before, so I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to put frost on this thing again. And then this time, let's... For one, let's check out this and take some of our rewards. Crown Vaults now heal. Okay, interesting. One radiation value. Okay, we need to get all of these done. This is going to take a while to do this, but I need to focus on these because there's some unlocks to do with them now, apparently. Um, so I need to I need to get on that. We've got our challenge thing over here as well, which I haven't done in quite some time. I probably ought to do that at some point. Um, is it worth trying to do it now? It, should be, it shouldn't be too hard with our setup, to be honest, so... And honestly, I think um, Insomnia is going to make it a lot easier, too. I th my main worry is our ammo, but luckily we have two things with different ammo uses now. Yeah, I think with a smaller area and the, the weapon setup we have going on right now, this shouldn't be that bad. There's a lot of damage taken there for some stupid stuff, though, I will admit. Yeah, having Hypersomnia here is uh, is kind of insane. Get some healing there, good. Another heal chest, lovely. Yeah, we are out of ammo here. Let's be very quick. I, I, I'm, I'm very sad I don't have Plutonium Hunger. Maybe that's what I'll grab next, if I can. If I can take Narrow Future and grab it. Yeah, there you go. That was easy. That was really easy. So, what do I actually want to go for here? Because I don't actually know. Um, I probably want something to go into shotgun. So, bullet into shotgun would be pretty good, I guess. Um, yeah, let's do bullet into shotgun. So, that, that means we now just fire more shotgun ammo. Uh, right, so now we turn crown vault and we go narrow future, right? Um... Quick mutations, narrow future. I don't know what quick mutations means, right? Like, isn't, isn't that, like, supposed to give me a mutation? I guess not. Whoa, what the hell area are we in now? Why the hell's this? Oh, my lord. So, I don't think getting that crown did anything for us, unfortunately. I think that is the case. Holy shit, how am I not dead? Ultra big dog. What? I don't even know what happened there. I just died instantly. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to try and go to that area again at some point, but it seems like a really hard area. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.